Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today uh, we're having a pencil review of the Dixon Ticonderoga number 1B. Certainly no strangers here to this iconic pencil and we have looked at other Ticonderogas in the past. However, uh, this is the first time I've done a review of the number one grade of the Ticonderoga. Uh, certainly, they make it, I think, in one, two, maybe two and a half, three and four, and certainly the number two is a very common pencil and a good one and uh, this is the number one. So here is a dozen <clears throat> in a box, and this is how I bought it at a uh, office supply store here uh, in, the, in the area here in Michigan. And um, I don't know when these were made or how long they've been in the store, but I saw them and I thought I would pick up the box. So it's, Ticonderoga, and of course the claim that they they always make on uh, their marketing and packaging, world's best pencil, uh, 12 number one B pencils. Uh, there's, a, it was $3.75 for the dozen. There's the pencil, and then we have some of the features here pointed out on the box. Uh, premium cedar, latex-free eraser. Uh, it's hard to see that, it's a little small, but it says made from sustained yield wood, no rainforest wood. 13881 is the model. Dixon Ticonderoga 121B, world's best pencil. There's the, the model number on the bottom, 13881. Same on the other side. On the back, uh, what does it tell us? It says Ticonderoga quality. Black graphite point for smooth and easy writing. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. The seal of the Pencil Makers Association. Um, uh, proud sponsor of something called Kids in Need Foundation. And then there's uh, Dixon and all of their various addresses and telephone number, website. Now here I see copyright 2007, the Dixon Ticonderoga Company, uh, redeemable for praying PowerPoints. And then made in Mexico. So, uh, as we know, most Ticonderogas either come from the Mexican plant or the China plant. These are of Mexican origin. So we will take a look here. Um, there's our erasers on that side. Come in at this end of the box, and I don't believe these are pre sharpened. They are not. So, here's a look at the, the other end of the pencil. And you know, just looking here, um, I'll say this the pencil, if just by, you know, without measuring, but certainly at glance. All of the, the cores seem to be fairly well centered uh, in this box of number one Ticonderogas. And we'll take one out and it's just what we would expect from a Ticonderoga. Uh, it's got the yellow color. It has the green foil imprint, Dixon Ticonderoga. Here is our number one B. Uh, the trademark gold and green ferrule 
and the pink eraser. It is a hexagonal pencil. Um, does have a, a bit of a cedar smell to it, um, which apparently is, that's what these are made out of, and uh, you know, the, the fit and finish of the pencil is fairly good and uh, you know, it, it feels uh, uh, the, the, in the hand, uh, corners are slightly rounded um, so it's not a it's not a hard hex, but it is a hexagonal pencil, no doubt about that. And um, the ferrule is doesn't look to be crimped on. Perhaps these ferrules are glued on the end of the pencil because I don't see any little punches in the ferrule where sometimes it is crimped onto the wood uh, to hold in place. So, okay, we're going to get one sharpened up and see how this number one Ticonderoga does on paper. Okay, let's, uh, let's put a, a point on this pencil and yeah, it sharpens nicely, easily. You know, the um, I'll have to compare it, but the core almost looks thicker than, say, some of the uh, another Ticonderoga. I'll have to see if I have a number two. But doesn't that, it does, it looks, uh, it looks a bit wider, this one. So let's let's see what we got here. We have a Dixon. Daroga. Number one B. Well, it does um, have a darker line. Uh, as we would expect, which is uh, really the reason that I wanted this number one pencil. thought that was quite a claim that they made about being the best pencil, although they are good pencils. Um, I'll say that uh, it writes dark, um, but I wouldn't say it is, it's smooth, it's not super smooth. But it does have a dark line, and as we wear the line down here and you can see it leaves a pretty thick mark on the paper. Let me come in a little closer. Let's uh, give it the old smudge a smudge -a here. Yeah. Well, not surprising for a very soft uh, graphite core, number one. So we have, uh, you know, quite a smudge line coming off of it. But uh, let's see how this one erases. I'm going to try the attached eraser. Yeah. So, so. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, a uh, decent job, but there's still a little shadow on the page. Let's take a, a Mars plastic to it. Better. Pink Pearl. K. 
Okay. Uh, gummy racer. Hmm, did a pretty good job. Uh, how about a rubber eraser? Okay. Um, yeah, try it. synthetic rubber here. Well, There's a little shadowing on almost all of them. The uh, Mars Plastic did the best job, as it often does, but particularly on this, this graphite. Um, all the other ones <clears throat> really did better than the attached eraser, but there's still some shadowing there. So, you know, with the... Uh, Uh, with the right eraser, uh, you can get this pretty fairly erased. We're going to give it a B uh, as an erasing grade here. And then this is our smudge. So uh, for people who might uh, uh, be left-handed or... Um, hold the pencil in a different position where they're running across the written mark on the paper, you might be getting a little bit of a smudge. Let's do some more writing. I will tell you though, <clears throat> in the what I've done thus far is requiring me to sharpen this up a little bit. Worn that point down. You know, um, and there's some discussion about the Ticonderogas, the uh, Mexican-made Ticonderogas versus the Chinese-made Ticonderogas. And the consensus that I have seen is that people prefer the Chinese-made Ticonderogas, the number twos. Uh, they feel that the core is smoother and a bit darker uh, than the Mexican-made Ticonderogas. And this is a Mexican-made pencil uh, from the Mexican plant. So uh, I would say in total, I'll, I'll write a little bit more, but um, that the, the core, again, it's a number one. So the core is softer. Um, I, again, wouldn't say it, it's smooth, but it's certainly not super smooth. It's a pretty quiet pencil.
<laughs> well, it is a nice writing pencil. I'm enjoying writing with this pencil. Uh, point retention, as you would expect from a number one pencil, is not great. You're going to sharpen this pencil a lot. Um, but it does leave a nice line. Uh, I would say that I do like writing with this number one uh, Ticonderoga from Mexico more so than the number two Ticonderoga from Mexico and perhaps because it does have a softer core. Okay, well, overall, I like this pencil, and I find that uh, uh, the core, and I swear I really do think this has got a thicker core in it. Um, it sure looks that way, and it sure feels that way writing it. It is a standard size. Uh, pencil uh, in every way, but I do think it has a little bit of a larger core in it. Um, and uh, yeah, I would definitely, I will definitely write with this and use this again. And if I see some more of these, I will pick them up. So overall, a good pencil. Uh, B plus on this. Um, very nice and uh, enjoyable to write with. So thank you for joining me for this review of this Ticonderoga number 1B. And we'll see you again here on Always Analog.